Hello and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World The Game, where today we're going to be doing, or oh, showcasing, the newest dinosaur in the game. Um, it's kind of came out of the blue. I didn't even expect it to happen, but um, it's a really good dinosaur. Um, not too long ago we had the um, Nodosaurus, which I cannot remember. I think he's all the way over here. There, that, that's the new Nodosaurus. And it's a tournament creature. It's not too bad. It's not too good. Um, but... I mean, for an early game, if you got this early game, it would be absolutely amazing. I'm sort of talking where I am in the game at the moment, which is quite late game, dear. Um, and that isn't the best of dinosaurs, I've got to admit. But there is something even better came out. Yes, we have, or we have been taunted with a tournament creature coming to the aquatic. Oh my god, why is it not picking up my I'm tapping the screen, nothing's happening. <laughs> Ah, I'm moving! I was like trying to do that for ages. Um, so let me just check to see if we've got any uh, good trades going on. Uh, a lot of the points of books, nah, it's, it's all right. Um, but it is a VIP creature, and if we go into news and we go into here, here it is, the Baryonyx, looking exactly like it does in Jurassic World Evolution. It looks awesome. Um, and I'm kind of thinking that this is actually Jurassic World Evolution's uh, in-game model. And what they've done is they've just given it to Ludia. And they'll be like, Ludia's be like, ha ha, yes, you modeled this thing. Now we'll take it. Either that or it could very well have been um, from Universal because it was used in Fallen Kingdom. Spoilers if you haven't seen it already, I'm sorry. But uh, it was in the trailers and pretty much everywhere. And even in the shops if you've got toys. Uh, ooh, I like that. That's quite a nice little T-Rex and then a... a, a Glow when T Rex on the side. What is going on? I'm I'm swiping all the time and nothing's moving. Okay, anyway, let's collect that pack. But um it does cost twenty thousand VIP points. And I have been lucky enough or lucky enough to save up a lot of VIP points in order to get that. Um I think you can get it in regular packs, can you? I just want to double check there. Not owned, seven percent chance to get Baryonyx in this pack. If you, again, if you have no solid gold creatures, this is a great option for you. Uh, you might get it. I mean, I could open, you know, twice as many. I could open, what if it's 10,000, uh, that's 10, 20. I could open 20 packs and possibly get it uh, in eight. You know, the eight I need to max it up. Um, but in this case, I kind of have, apart from Thylomysis, I've got Edomorphodon leveled up, maxed, Mastodonosaurus max, Prestosuchus max, or... or uh, Orthocanthus max, Olumbia not, Baronyx not, Hainodon not either, Tanicolagrius max, Tylosaurus max, Concavenator not max, but pretty close, Burning Theorem not max, Hanotus max, Hainosaurus max, and Panosaurus max. So I've got over half max, so really, unless I get lucky, there's no real need, so I need to have eight of them. So I am going to save about 40,000, so I'm going to have 50,000 VIP points left over if I was to get Baryonyx Max, which is exactly what we're going to do. So here it is, 20,000 for the first pack, Baryonyx. So, um, oh, and a lot of books and DNA, so not too bad, as well as getting reimbursed slightly for that pack. So it cost me 20,000, I get 1,560 back. If I was to buy 10, I get 15,000 back. So I buy more than... 10, and I almost get one free. So we're just going to have to buy loads. Hopefully we get lucky and we get lots of books, uh, if anything. Because if I could win anything from these packs, um, I think I've got a chance to win books on all of them. Yeah, so I could I could honestly get um, 1,500 books from opening this, uh, which would be really good. Uh, it's a lot of DNA. Don't really want DNA. If I could trade 80,000 DNA uh, for books, I would. And I've got, just got like loads of creatures I can sell. So we are slowly going up on the VIP points. And there, there you go. Finally, some bucks there. Because we are going to speed this up. But again, because it is a VIP creature, um, it's not going to take that long to level up. in Or to, sorry, to incubate, which is really good. Uh, there you go. There's another 400. I've really got to keep my... I don't want to see. I don't want to see what its stats are at level 40. Because I've got a feeling. And you guys have told me that it is actually really, really good um, at level 40. So if I just go in the incubators now. And we go to... Uh, carnivores. And we scroll all the way to the end because it should be somewhere. We have five, so we need three more. Ooh, tempted to click that eye, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Do. So, 100 bucks. So, it's 800 bucks. Already, we've been, we've uh, won that many. Um, so, it looks like it is the Sukamimus, Ceratosaurus, um, Concavenator, that sort of animation set. So, unfortunately, ooh, and I just had a look at its stats there. 
864 health and 270 attack. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good. I don't think this is the one from Jurassic World Evolution. It looks like um, if it was, they've changed it a lot to sort of fit in with um, their uh, skeleton or animation rig, which is a bit of a shame because um, it doesn't hold itself like a Baron X would. Oh, and there's me dog. Oh, it just looks gorgeous. It's a shame that it does hold itself the way it does because it's just too tall. I mean, there, when it's kind of low, that looks better. But when it's holding itself up high, it's unfortunate that uh, they kind of have to have it look like the way it does. So it's 1,296 health and 405, 405 attack. So at level 10, it is almost as good as a level 40 legendary. And that being um, something like a T-Rex, for instance. So if we now, I mean, how many, that, that was one. How many more do I have? I think I need to get three more, don't I? So we go in here, we go carnivores. Uh, so four, so that's five. So three more, we'll go into here. Unfortunately, we have to get three more, but, and there, well, there's some books. That's not too bad, that's five. That's basically 500. I don't know why they say up to 500 bucks and then they never give you the 500, 480. But there we go. It, it, do you really have to cop out, like, taking away 20 bucks from one of me things? <laughs> it is up to 500, yet you never get below 480. You get, like, 485, 490, 495. Just give me the 500 bucks. Stop being cheap, damn it. <laughs> I think I kind of need to open one more, don't I? Because I've already got one. So if this says six, I need one more. And it says six. Okay, yeah. So we'll speed that up. And I'll go back into here. And the final Baryonyx, which is really good because I'm going to use this creature. I use my um, VIP creatures all the time, especially the ones that are max. So 63,000 VIP points. But hey, there you go. So we're going to use it in some of these things like test your strength. But first of all, first things first, we need to max this guy up. So we've got to think about the reason why they've added Baryonyx. So if you remember, Baryonyx... Um, does have a hybrid um, in Jurassic World Alive. And of course, that is a Ludia-owned um, game. So it would make sense for them to also put it in this game. I think it's the Tristornix or something like that. It's Baryonyx and... Ooh, I can't remember now that I think about it. Oh, what is it? Oh, I'm gonna have to, I, it's completely escaped me, but it's Baryonyx and something. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's definitely Baryonyx. Uh, so that's six. Oh my god, there's so many. Uh, two more. So again, it's only 100 bucks, so it really isn't that much. But this is the reason why I got um, VIP points instead of books when we did that whole um, Indominus Rex trading session. Was because I'd rather have the VIP points because they're harder to come by. And the dinosaurs you uh, exchange those points for are way better. For instance, this Baryonyx. So we'll get it to um, level 20 where we'll see a decent jump in... Um, in stats, and also this is probably the best you're gonna get for, um, you know, 40, for 40,000 VIP points. It can go from, you know, 1,200 health to, with added food, 2,220 health with 694 attack. And the colorings on that thing look way better than it does in level 10. It's a little bit paler in level 10. I quite like these ones. Ooh, it's richer. Um, so yeah, this is, this is one level above um, a legendary. This would be like T-Rex level level 50, I would say. Um, I think it about has the same amount of attack, but way more health. Um, so we're just going to feed these guys up as well. And we'll see it. At, I, I've already seen it at level 40. Because as soon as it was released, everyone on like the Facebook group and stuff was posting like, oh, Have you seen it? This thing looks amazing. I was like, it does. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I saw comments on YouTube videos, I saw comments on my Instagram, even Twitter, saying the Baryonyx is out. So, here I am, making the video for you. And we can definitely um, use it and see how good it is and where it stacks in comparison to the rest of the roster on our team. So here it is. Oh wait, no, no, that is level 30. Oh my God, it barely looks any different. So 270, sorry, 2,736 health and 855 attack. But at level 30, 3,384 health and 1,058 attack. Again, it's one of those creatures we don't need another carnivore in our team because we've got Indominus Rex, Rajastega, Cerizinosaurus, Tanicolagrius, 
Um, Ulophosaurus. We've got so many carnivores. We just don't need any more. But Ludia are determined to keep on giving us so many damn bloody baryonyx. Well, that's because of baryonyx. Uh, carnivores. I mean, what we really need is more flyers, more amphibians, and especially more herbivores. Um... I mean, we've got a lot of amphibians. We've got a lot of carnivores. It's really the flyers and the herbivores that we don't have that many of. Um, and I don't know why that is. They're deliberately just putting up, like, just adding so many carnivores into this. And the thing is, even in some cases, there is, like, carnivores and herbivores fused together, but they make a carnivore. It's like, oh, no, come on, there could be a herbivore. I can't think of exactly off the top of my head, but there has been an instance where two different types have been merged together, and unfortunately, I think it became a carnivore or something like... Especially when you fuse a herbivore, it needs to become a herbivore. Um, I mean, Segnosuchus could have been easily put as a carnivore, even though it was, you know, two herbivores, because it looks that bloody frightening. So uh, we are one more fuse, and uh, once this is done, away from getting... And it's, of course, this is costing bucks, and how much is it? 80 bucks each time. <gasps> No, I just need- I, I'm losing all my resources. And finally, here it is. Level 14 already. Look at that. It looks like some ice thing. It looks awesome. And here it is. And it starts at level 31. 4,032 health and 1,260 attack. Making it pretty- Oh, look at that thing. Oh, it looks so cool. It looks like, um, it could be a toy. It's almost something out of the Lost World Chaos Effect line or something like that. Um, just a bit of imagination. Kind of looks like the Allosaurus toy, I think it was. That was, it, I think, I don't even know what it was released by, but you could get it. It was like after Jurassic Park 3, sort of in that state where you had Jurassic Park, the Jurassic, Jurassic Park toys, oh god. Um, that were just called like Jurassic Park something. I don't know what they were. Um, but yeah, I really like that coloring. And we'll get it. Oh, it costs millions of food. And at max level, 4,788 health and 1,498 attack, I think that was. 96 attack. So, putting it super high on the list. And let's see if we what kind of factoids we can get about it. Barrex means heavy claw. It got the name from the large claw on each of its four things, which... Ooh, it actually does kind of have. That's interesting. Um, and it does have three fingers. I, did the Pyrex have three fingers? Either way, even if it had six fingers, it wouldn't have been added in, I don't think. Um, next one, Pyrex is a riverside predator. Its cro uh, conical teeth are very well adapted for catching and holding onto fish. Next one, the Pyrex is a member of the Spinosaurus family and is related to Spinosaurus, Sucremimus, and of course, Bloody Uridiata. Uh, there you go, some VIP points and some bucks. Bionics preyed on baby dinosaurs as well as fish. And there it is. So let's have a look. Ooh, we get to see the little low poly version of it. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. Um, ah, now let's test it out in a battle arena. Avian ancestors, can we do something like So here we go. Wasn't expecting it up here. This is mainly reserved for the OP of OP dinosaurs. Um, but if we go down the line, it's not as good as Pterodactylus, not as good as Pressosuchus. Mm, but there it is. Um, not too bad. Wait a minute. Why does it have exactly the same health and exactly the same attack as Mastodonosaurus and Eudemorphodon? Excuse me, could they not have given it different stats? Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Three dinosaurs with exactly the same stats. How boring. Why? We saw this with Jurassic Park Builder, and I don't know whether it was them saving space on memory or code, but that just seems lazy. It's just, it's just a carnivore, and that all we need now is a herbivore version of being the same. <laughs> but here it is. Let's use it in this team. Oh, we need one Tarandon. Well, we'll go down the line, use Scappers. Uh, current team, that'll do. 1,496 against. Uh, oh, we can kill it in one hit. Ostafrigosaurus, deed. Wabash! And Therizinosaurus as well. It's so weird, it's name is so small. Baryonyx. I'm used to seeing crazy names like Therizinosaurus, Urlophodon, Urlicosaurus, you know, all that jazz. And we can't kill- Oh, look at that, but there's nothing that Therizinosaurus can do. This is- It's mainly- It's kind of balanced, actually. I was going to say it's mainly attack. Um, but I'm only saying that because it's got double attack because it's against a herbivore. And there you have it. Rah! 
A blizzardy dinosaur. And now let's have a look. How long does it take to recharge? That's the interesting thing. Oop, too low. 274 bucks. So as we've already started that, we may as well win a golden rewards pack, right? Oh, one herbivore. Oh, you freaking serious. <laughs> oh, it's just, these boosted battle events, man, they're awful. It's like, oh yeah, use a herbivore. All three battles will be Segnosuchus. And they'll only be getting hotter and hotter as time goes on. So what we'll do is we'll do the avian ancestors. Because that's pretty easy. So we need one Tyrandon again. May as well use Ostoposaurus just to put in there. And, you know, we definitely need that one. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. One hit. Deed. Bam. I don't even know if Sukumimus is related to... Like, birds, is it? Avian ancestors. Something I don't understand. It's like, on the front of the battle event, it shows uh, Pelicomimus, and it's like, avian ancestors. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So we're going to be fighting avian ancestors? No. I'm pretty sure... I don't even... Maybe I'm wrong. I could be completely wrong here, but that picture there is not the event. <laughs> Although those guys, I think, are... At least Trodon is. I think Trodon is definitely related to um, some birds, or at least an ancestor of what could have been if, you know, the genus hadn't went extinct of some birds. It was definitely going that way. Don't know at Dina Cheris. Possibly. Do I need to only use one? Okay, so we'll use Indominus Rex, and we may as use Tupuxera. Um, and we'll go for one attack. Trodon may be able to kill us. I'm not sure. Uh, definitely can't. Definitely can't. But we can kill him in one. So if it, even if it goes for one attack, which it actually does. Oh, that's really helpful. And um, we can kill it. And there you go, guys. So, um, that is Baryonyx maxed up another dinosaur. You've seen me waste all of my bloody VIP points on another useless carnivore. God damn it. <laughs> they do this deliberately. They're like, oh, Beavis has got a lot of this many resources. How about we just add a dinosaur to make him waste it so when the um, the hybrid's coming, you can only use VIP points for it. And he doesn't have any. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.